But we begin in Wisconsin. The suspect in that deadly Waukesha Christmas parade crash, Daryl Brooks Jr., appearing in court for the first time since Sunday's tragedy. And tonight, new video showing what appears to be Brooks knocking on the door of a home asking to use the phone. The timestamp on that video just moments after that deadly crash. Correspondent Kelly Beeson is live with us tonight. She spoke with that homeowner. Kelly, we all want to know what that home owner has to say. Absolutely, Nicole. Well, it appears the man in that video is Daryl Brooks. He approaches that front porch and the homeowner lets him inside. In all actuality, it was a really, really scary thing. Waukesha homeowner Daniel Ryder says it all happened in the span of about 10 minutes. Just moments after the parade crash, a man appearing to be 39 year old Daryl Brooks knocks on his door hey, asking to use I, a I, phone. I called some, I called an Uber and I'm supposed to be waiting for it over here, but I don't know when it's coming. Can you call it for me, please? He's looking in at me, telling me that he needs help. Ryder says he let him in, gives him a jacket to wear, a cell phone to use, and a sandwich. I wasn't getting the messages saying to shelter in place and there's a suspect on the loose is because he was on my phone for a long time, the whole time he was at the house. He says the man appeared to call his mother and was speaking for a while until Ryder noticed police circling his neighborhood. He says he begins to feel uneasy. We never get police traffic or really much for any traffic on this road. So then at 510 is when you see me escorting him out of the house and he listened. He he was polite with me the whole time he was in my house and he even thanked me saying thank you for showing me so much love here man. I appreciate you. After returning the coat and phone, Ryder says the man leaves willingly but then returns to the window yelling that he's missing his ID. My ID. He wanted to come inside and immediately I was like, no, there's no way I'm letting this guy back in. So I think he was just making up something to try to get back in the house and hide because he had seen an officer. Shortly after, police arrive and appear to take the man into custody. At that moment, I knew, oh, wow, this guy's a, this guy isn't what he said he was. I learned after he was in cuffs and and I called my neighbor who was at the parade and he told me everything and I was just in shock. Ryder says knowing what he knows now, he would have never let him inside. Oh, absolutely not. No way. I'm not letting anybody strange or no strangers are coming into my house again. Now, Ryder says he will be doing kind things in the future, but he'll be more cautious about it. He's obviously grateful to be okay. Daryl Brooks has been charged with five counts of intentional homicide. We have live pictures right now. His initial court appearance was set for 4 p.m. today. Nicole. Oh, well, Kelly, I got to tell you, back here in the newsroom, we were just watching that video, really speechless here. I mean, he was just being a good Samaritan. So glad that he is okay. Kelly, thank you for that. Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.